Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you are doing good. So today we'll try to understand Glide aggregate in ServiceNow. This is quite important topic of ServiceNow. So let's get started and try to understand it. Okay, so first of all, let's try to understand what is Glide aggregate and how do we use it in ServiceNow. So the Glide aggregate class is nothing but extension of Glide record. So Glide record also can do the same thing, but by using Glide aggregate, we can optimize the queries and it is uh, most recommended by ServiceNow to use Glide aggregate. It will not slow down the system performance and it will, you know, optimize the queries. So Glide aggregate provides database aggregation like average, count, mean, max, steady dev, some queries. So Glide Aggregate is having, you know, a lot of predefined functions like average, count, mean. And if you have to perform this kind of operation, you can use this predefined function. So you don't have to write the logic for, you know, and you don't have to go with uh, uh, writing the logic of summing up uh, or finding the max mean, how we do it in Java. Just we have to use, you know, this method and we can do that queries. So Glide aggregate enables creating database aggregation queries. So that's why it is very helpful. And we can use, you know, js.row count also, you know, as part of Glide record, but that is not recommended. So we should like whenever we have to do this kind of operation, we have to go with Glide aggregate. So this functionality can be very helpful when we are, you know, creating the customized report and we are doing any calculation for a calculated field. So in that, uh, you know, scenario, this Glide aggregate is very useful. But one thing you always remember, this Glide aggregate class only works for number field because we count, you know, the number field. We cannot do the sum or count to the string or any other field. So yeah, that is kind of important point. So it is uh, only works for a uh, number field. So that that is the you know kind of overview how we use so Glide aggregate. Why do we use it? Now let's try to understand few use case. How to show count of incident for each category. So what I have to do is here, I have to show the count of incident for each of category. So let's go to, you know, our personal instance and try to see this uh, use case. So here I am navigating to background script and here I will be writing the script. So first of all, I am going to use Glide aggregate because I have to count the number of incident for each of category. First of all, I am going to define one variable and call glide aggregate class so the syntax of calling glide aggregate class is first um, i have defined this count variable with the new keyword i am just calling this glide aggregate class and here i have to pass the incident table because i want to glide the incident table okay and now we are having a few methods under this Glide aggregate. So uh, like uh, we have um, uh, add query in Glide record, right? So in same way, we are having add aggregate into this uh, uh, Glide aggregate class. So I'm going to call that function here. Add uh, aggregate. And here we have to pass uh, to parameter. So first I am using this uh, count query. And here I have to find the count of um, category. So that's why I'm passing the backend value of category here. And uh, we just have to query it. Run the while loop. And we have to use count.next the same way how we do it for you know Glide record. So after you know running the loop, we are finding the like once we are finding the value, what we have to do is here 
I am defining one variable like category and I am using this count object and I am passing the backend value of category so it will assign the each category into this variable and now I will be defining another variable count category and here what I am trying to do is I am using this method and we are having few methods defined into this class such as uh, gate aggregate so I am using this gate aggregate here and same again I am passing this two parameter like count and category so here what will happen it will get the count of category like it will uh, it will count the incident for each category so like uh, what we are doing is first we are collided the incident table by using this slide aggregate class and here we have uh, this add aggregate and we have added this count with this category then we have queried it and like once we are getting records entering into this loop and here we are adding this uh, category like uh, and then we are doing the count we are finding the incident for each of categories so for that we have used this object here and then we have used this gate aggregate method so it will count like uh, the incident based on the category okay okay so now let's print the category so for that I am using this dot info and I want to print the particular category so for that uh, I have um, printing this category uh, variable and then I am putting this um, I uh, semicolon and then I want to print this count category so this will show the number of uh, incident for particular category now close the loop so i want to you know fetch the category uh, count of the uh, incident for each category that's why i'm uh, printing inside uh, this loop and now let's run it and see so you can see here like database there are two incident for database category uh, 10 for hardware and 32 for query category so if we go and filter by category you could see the count for you know count of incident for each category so let's navigate here and just filter by category group by category and you could see so there is four incident which doesn't have category that is showing up here there's no category that's why it is showing four and if you see the database two hardware 10 so this has printed you know the count of category with particular category so this is how you can find the count of you know incident for each of category and you can perform you know uh, this operation or queries on any of the particular you know, field or number field for any of the particular table so this is how you know you can use glide aggregate and you can do your calculation uh, so second one so you try to you know do the second um, use case thanks for watching guys